is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. It got flaky on the north end of Colorado Springs this morning. Take a look at that. Snow hit with a vengeance. Just gave the tourists in town something to small talk about. <laughs> They're saying May 3rd, snow in Colorado Springs. Yes, you better believe it can happen this time of the year. It can happen into mid and even late May in some rare cases. Woodland Park, man, it was coming down. It's that nice, wet, heavy snow that we love this time of the year because the snow is just loaded with water. Had reports of three to four inches of that wet, heavy snow across parts of Woodland Park. Pueblo, there's a live look right now across the Steel City. Cloudy skies from Mitchell Park to the Grove, Stoddard Field, all the way over to the Steel Mill in Bessemer. This is your big weather story. Here's what happens around here tomorrow. This is what's going to happen. High pressure filling in behind that storm system that's thankfully been bringing us moisture the uh, past couple of days. Warming trend on the way the next couple of days. Here's what you get. Plenty of sunshine as you work through that finally Friday, and it's also going to be on the warm side. Highs tomorrow on average 10 to 15 degrees warmer than what we had today. Let's break out the weekend. I know you're thinking about it. How about 74 Saturday? You'll like that so much. We'll bring it back on Sunday. Slight chance of a late day thunderstorm rolling off the hills on Sunday, but that's even a long shot. In Pueblo, Cinco on Saturday. Cinco de Mayo, 81 degrees. That'll toast a few tortillas. Same deal on Sunday. Sunshine giving away to a few afternoon clouds. Take a look at the snow totals. Divide Woodland Park, two miles north of Monument, all reporting three inches of snow. And again, uh, I've had reports up to four inches of snow in parts of Woodland Park. That stuff in Monument, really nothing. Take a look at this. Last year, May the 18th, we picked up 10 inches of snow in Monument. So today, just a little appetizer compared to what was going on last May. Here's what's happening right now. We're dry across the springs into Pueblo Canyon City, also dry. A little bit of rain and snow shower activity west of I-25 across some of the higher elevations. Light snow between Divide and Cripple Creek along Highway 67. Wet mountains, Wet Mountain Valley back to the Sangres, getting some pretty good snow. That was actually thunder snow when it moved across Mackenzie Junction about an hour ago. Everything pushing to the south very quickly at about 30 miles per hour. That stuff will end here within the next couple of hours. This is your hour by hour forecast. Later tonight again you can still see showers along and west of I-25. Most of that across the higher elevations. That stuff wraps up later as how drier air starts to push in and tomorrow morning as you walk out the door you'll see sunshine. A cold start tomorrow morning but temperatures recover quickly this time of the year. The sun's angle a lot higher in the sky so by mid afternoon we're already in the 60s and 70s around here. Mostly clear skies late in the afternoon tomorrow. Finally, Friday, maybe you're stepping out on the town tomorrow evening. 8 p.m. temperatures, 56 in the springs and 63 degrees in Pueblo. Today, unseasonably chilly. Pueblo 62, but three hundredths of an inch of water out at the airport anyway. In the springs, the high was 53, officially six hundredths of an inch of water today. Outside right now, it is cold in Woodland Park, 34, just a little warmer in Monument. We're 48 in the springs. Pueblo currently at 59 degrees. Low temperatures tonight, colder than what we should have this time of the year. We're below freezing from Monument into Woodland Park in the springs, 35. But if you live around Briargate, Glen Eagle, it's going to be around freezing tonight. So take those necessary precautions. Pueblo, 39 degrees tonight. Afternoon highs tomorrow, really nice. How about 66 in the springs? Pueblo tomorrow, afternoon high temperature of 72 degrees and it gets even warmer on Saturday. Let's recap that weekend forecast. Mostly sunny during the morning on Saturday. A few clouds filter in during the afternoon and the wind is not going to be an issue. Just light breezes, typical light May breezes during the afternoon. Sunday again, maybe a stray thunderstorm late. Long shot on that. Same deal on uh, Monday. It could see a thunderstorm come in late Monday afternoon and Tuesday, but temperatures really comfortable for at least the next seven days. In Pueblo, good looking weekend. 81 degrees both Saturday and Sunday. Same deal on Monday. Best chance of getting any moisture comes late Monday afternoon and then Tuesday with another disturbance rolling across the Rockies. Canyon City Blossom Fest this weekend. Don't forget, News 5 in that big parade down Main Street Saturday afternoon. We'll be looking for you. Chance of seeing a thunderstorm real late on Sunday. Same deal Monday. Then a slightly better chance of seeing a PM thunderstorm by Tuesday. Woodland Park, you won't need the snow gear anymore. I've got rain showers in your forecast. Maybe a thunderstorm late on Sunday. I'll keep those PM storms in your forecast. Monday, Tuesday, into Wednesday as well. 